Hey everybody, hello. Sorry, excuse that sound. Hey everybody, Colmots here, and today I'm just going to be streaming um, the SDKFC221 with the AT round on it. SPZB Punisher Bush something. Um, I won't, I won't butcher the name. Um, despite the fact, you know, I was always like Pounds off and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to butcher this name. Particularly because I don't like this vehicle, so I don't like it enough to butcher its own name. So, yeah. I mean, if I'd like something so much, I'd attempt to say it. What is this vehicle? Um, this vehicle is literally a car strapped with a fucking AT rifle. And the AT rifle only has AP rounds. So, uh, yeah. Um, I've been having a bash at it. It's... I I don't know. Maybe this is meant to be the new German troll vehicle for the people who didn't get the Panzer Two H. But uh, it, it it's it's shit. It's shit. Um, there's no armor on this thing. It's a car. It's literally just a car. Um, there's no arm armor. The armament is this one AT rifle on it. This isn't even the one with the cannons on it. Like it should. Uh, like you would normally have during the Africa campaign. Um, yeah, and and crew member is stupid enough not to look through the uh, look look through the scope and is like, hey, I'm just gonna stick my head up here. So if you don't have crew replenishment, like I don't have, because you know I haven't been able to get a good match with this thing, only one. Um, good luck trying to survive one MG spray. Sorry, an MG bullet. Never mind a spray. People are smart enough; they'll just shoot you in the fucking face with it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go up and cap because you know cap will give me some research points, right? Hopefully, anyways. But see here, this is the problem. He stands up. That he he he's literally okay. He's literally standing up. Can you not like be hunched over your gun so you're not just sticking up in the middle of nowhere? Like, come on. You're even clipping to the bloody side of your vehicle. You you're leaning to a side. I'm, I'm disappointed. Anyways, if you want to know something else bad about this vehicle as well, let's say I'm waiting here, and the distance is about 500 meters. You're not going to hit the broad side of a goddamn barn. And, I mean it. Um, this thing is not accurate beyond 500 meters. J just forget sniping. Or if you do try and snipe, good luck. Uh, you might get a lucky hit. Uh, if so, congratulations. If not, however, like, the usual person, uh, you're gonna miss. This thing does have a really quick reload, but it doesn't compensate for the fact it's basically just one bullet going inside a tank. It, it's literally just a bullet. It it doesn't have much. I, I, it's, ha it's happened before, but there isn't much fragmentation. But if you do have that one time where it does fragment, um, well done. Good job, uh, I commend you. Oh shit, did someone get it? Someone got it. Um, so yeah, with the ammunition count, you may as well pick it all because you're just gonna die in the first bloody shot anyways. Uh, no joke, you're just gonna die from the first shot because someone's gonna c get this one bullet to come hit you in the fucking turret. Gotcha. Nope, there you go. See, that's about 500 meters. Missed, it hit the ground. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, this thing's gonna sp strafe me! No strafey, no strafey, no strafey, no strafey, no 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 no! Ah, god. This is what I mean, though. Luckily, I have vitality on my crew, so you won't die in one hit. But um, yeah, forget trying to do anything with this tank, unless it's for a, a joke. Honestly, just forget about it. And this is why I mean by no fragmentation whatsoever, there's just none. Hey! I actually got a kill, I'm surprised. Wait, say fear we're going to try and get this one LV-80. Look how close the shots are getting. Oh for shit's sakes. The only good thing though is that you only really need to pop open your top person 
in order to expose your tank to shoot, so you're not actually exposing the bottom part, which is a, a, a bonus, I would give it that. But still, it's not too big of a bonus, because you can get strafed instantly. And it's worse than ASU, because, you know, you literally have one guy sitting outside the tank. With the ASU, everyone's sitting inside the tank. I'm so worried about any tank looking my general direction. It will just f murder me. It will murder me outright. I don't even... We got the transmission, so he's stuck there. Get his engine. Nice. But yeah, this thing is definitely, definitely a support role tank. Than it is a, f a tank that sits back and snipes and stuff. Um... As, when I mean support, in my opinion, I mean as in um, you aim at enemy tanks and you just take a shot at them, and hopefully you'll get some critical part like the engine or transmission, so someone else can come over and screw them over. Let's see. Nope, I wouldn't be able to snipe that in a million years. Oh shit! This thing is a goddamn nightmare. Oh look, I just got the loader. And I got a lucky shot because there's literally no armor. Fire, 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 fire! Shit. The to God damn it. But yeah, that, that, that tank is so useless. Oh. I mean, for heaven's sakes, if you got tanks like the Pons 2C and the Pons 2F and the Pons 2 DAC, just forget, forget going in one of those. Just get one of these and you'll just wreck the whole match. A wrecking ball. Okay, just gonna drop some artillery down the back bit there so they just stay the fuck away from it. A spawn. Alright, that's the Nebo, I think. Pons 2. F, there's a. Why are people getting this goddamn rubbish tank? It's so terrible. Seriously, it's like the worst tank you could ever get. It's got paper mache for armor. I understand, it's a heavy tank, you know. It's awesome, it's a heavy tank. Got it. But it's so big, and it's got no armor. It's basically the SMK, but worse in every single way. I mean, with the SMK, it's still shit because you can't pen at all, ever. Anyways, I'm always complaining. But still, like, come on. Why can you not get a point? Come on. Attack a point. Come on. Oh, yeah, by the way, if anyone's commenting, if everyone's watching this in real time, but if anyone's commenting, I won't be able to see your messages because I, uh, well, um, let's just say I, I got a new broadcasting thing, which isn't OBS because my graphics card isn't that good. Hence why I play this game on the lowest settings possible. It's nice. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm using XSplit Broadcaster, and I'm doing this on not great Wi-Fi, which is, you know, a smart thing to do. Okay, he's down here. No. Hi. Don't even fucking try. I don't know why. Don't know why you're screaming for help and you know, we're not losing. I mean, do you have some nerve if you really, really think that that uh, tank's gonna be good for you? That's the new British uh, A, by the way. I've yet to get it, but I mean, I could get it in one game if I went into my Scorpion. But uh, I don't see the point of researching it, to be honest. I had a look at it. It's basically like the French tractor kind of thing, but just with more armor. So, basically, worthless. Like, what do people not understand? Shit. I almost got the transmission. Almost, not dead. Almost. 
Oops, I think I just killed someone else by accident. Heh, 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 heh. Hey, go, 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 go. Oh, shit. No, no. No, no. Okay, no, no, no. Your shit. Oh, shit. There's a good, there's a good part. There's a good part. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Fire, 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 fire. It's a good part. Fire. Kill the good part. Okay, drive. Nope. <laughs> nice, Gephardt's dead. Gephardt is one of the worst enemies we'll come across in low tiers. So it's the same as the Flak. The difference with the Flak and Gephardt though is that the driver's protected. No, oh, no, sorry, not the driver. The gun is more protected in the uh, Gephardt. Whereas in the... Uh, in the thing of black, it's not as protected. But here's the thing: if you see a Ponce 2 Dak, run for your fucking life because the Ponce 2 Dak is a Gepard with a reload. It has a reload, but it's a Gepard with more armor. Essentially, is what the thing is. I'm gonna give myself some more crew members because why not? Even though I'm running on 900 and something ping per second, lovely. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi for me isn't great, despite the fact, you know, I'm meant to be having good Wi-Fi, I don't get it at all, because, um, well, you know, I'm sitting the opposite end of my fucking house, so there's no, wi there's no actual Wi-Fi coming to me, um, but yeah, I just feel like, if you're going to go for research things on this tank, it's not even a tank, it's a car, if you're going for research stuff on this car, you go mainly for mobility and clue of punishment as soon as possible. You, you can't do anything with this. The, you, you can't. I, I, I wouldn't, like, the only crew I've ever aced is this Ponce to see Dak. I would never, ever considering, even though I got 380, I would never consider um, spading it. Uh, thing yet. Okay, let's go get a high rank thing out. Uh, oh yeah, I've been loving the Puma. The Puma's amazing. Holy shit. Like, you think, you... Th you think, like, you know, oh, you know. It's just a Puma. Um, just wait. Just wait. Okay. I'm gonna bring it along... Not too high tier. I want to still be able to penetrate things. So, I'm thinking 4.3-ish? To 4.3 to... 4.3 to 2.7, which was the Ponza 4 F2. Where does it go? It goes here. And it was the Whirlwind, yes. Okay. Let's go into tank realistic, because, uh, fuck it. But yeah, if you're thinking of a really, really powerful, um, AA for the German lineup, if you ever do want to play Germans, get the Whirlwind. It's literally an A10. At 3.7, it's an A10 Warthog pointing up at the sky, just vrrr, destroying everything in its path. This thing costs more to spawn in than a Whirlwind, the Martyr 3H. <laughs> just, just, just shows how stupid this thing can be. Okay. Uh, standard. I have to go with standard. White kind of likes to shine out a little bit. The only good thing this would be at is uh, racing to the front line. Oh, I got up to you to 4.7, didn't I? Don't MG me, you dick. I 
have a f oh god, we're against the Russians, the Brits, the French, and the Soviets. The Soviets, if you um, watch Squire. I'm, I'm kind of dying to watch YouTubers and, uh, try to make videos about this stupid thing. It's so stupid. Like, I may as well have brought a Puma. I shouldn't have brought this thing. I should have brought the Puma. And it would have done so much better. I can already hear them. They're already on it. Fuck. Reverse, reverse, reverse. I want to get the fuck out of here. Go, 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 go. Drive, drive. Oh, yeah. Also, this doesn't have a rotating turret. So, uh, this thing will basically be shit. The only... The only time I'll see this thing being useful in any sort of way by it being small, but even then, it can't, like, for example, here. I can't break through the door, even though it's made out of wood. Uh, okay. Let's see. <gasps> shit, 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 Back, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Oh god. Yeah, he's not gonna get me. Okay, I need to run. Go, just run, just run up here, up here, up here. Go, 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 go! Shit, 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 shit. Go, 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 go! Round, 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 round. round. Right, turn it off. Can I repair? Or is this nothing important? It's apparently nothing important. Shit! This is what I mean. Nah. Just go, just go, just go. Uh, crap baskets. Go, go, go. <laughs> He's gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> He's gonna. <be. laughs> what is that actually? Is that the uh, Mark IV? I think that's the Mark IV. Eight thirty. What? I have no idea what that tank is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think if he points his gun at me, he sees me. He fucking sees me. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hi. Uh, let's see. Uh, watch this thing. Oh no! Oh shit! Shit, 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 Go, go, go. Uh oh. Drive, 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 drive. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they're all coming. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. God damn it. Oh. Oh. I need to go search this up. What is this? 8.33. Oops, my thing's on. Oh. It's... What is this? Oh, so it's a Chronicle event reward tank. Okay, wow. Uh, that's shitty. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, I wasn't expecting that. But at the same time, I was, <laughs> considering it's me. So, um, yeah. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. In fact, I could check quickly. Um, considering it's, I'm AA and there's no planes in the sky for some stupid reason. I say stupid, I mean, it's just, it's good, actually, that I'm opening straight. Oh, my door's open. Give me a second. Yeah, I can see. Uh, I think. Wow, I, I I'm surprised anyone's actually gone ahead with the uh, War Chronicle of vehicles, and that's the thing that sucks as well. Why? 
why are you making it so hard to get like vehicles that are really crappy? I don't understand. I I genuinely do not. Attention to the map. Oh shit! Wait, can you see? I don't understand. Ah shit! So you've been seeing a black screen the whole time. We've captured most of the strategic zone. Fuck. <laughs> the problem is, for some reason, I've not been able to record War Thunder at all. Okay, so I guess it's a more like a podcast thing. But, uh, I've not been able to record War Thunder whatsoever. I, I just haven't. Um, I'm so sorry. I thought, I thought you could all see. Um, well, this will make for an interesting edit later on. Um, oh god, they're shooting someone. But there's a plane up here. It's... Is it you? No, it's just you. You're allowed. I don't know. There was planes. Three of them. Yeah, you need to get you need to get that guy there before number spawn. Uh, wow, okay, so it's actually been recording nothing, and, um, well. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a pleasant thought. Um, this is more like a podcast. So I was gonna, well, I was wanting to talk about something. Um, <laughs> um. I think what I was wanting to talk about was... Damn, I've really forgotten. I want to, I think I want to talk about the stupid car thing. Um, I criticize it. But it can lead to some funny moments. Like, you haven't seen, probably. I will edit it as soon as this match is done. I'm just going to stop recording because I didn't realize at all that I wasn't recording. So that sucks. Oh, well, not recording, sorry. Um, because if I'm recording, I'm recording with Fraps, so... Uh, it's one of the worst things to record with nowadays. Do you, not because it's bad. Not because you use so much memory. I don't mind. I have 16 gigs of RAM. The problem is, it uses, like, a gigabyte per minute. Like, that video there, when I recorded that, that was three gigabytes. That was three gigabytes for two minutes of gameplay. So... You know, I had to, over, of course, convert it because it was recording AVI, which sucks. Um, but, so, I went over it, and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to compress this down. I can't do this in AVI all the time. The problem is, um, Fraps hasn't been updated in years. It really hasn't. It, it sucks because Fraps is awesome. Fraps is really fun to use. I like how it's simple. And it does give good quality footage. Alright, let me come help you. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can pull you over. There you go. I hate all the ones so annoying, but that's like the only female voice I got in this game, so it's like, uh, uh, I want it. Oh, uh, by the way, if you're wondering why someone said thanks, I said I agree, it's because I, they flipped over because, you know, they were uh, Japanese AA, and we're like, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna try and copy what the Robo Wind did, because we, we're smart, we are Japanese and we are smart, we never back down from a challenge, and instantly it just flipped over, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, I'll come help you. I knew something was wrong as soon as he didn't follow me. I was like, hmm, something's not up. Two and three do not make four. Two and three make five. Oh shit, they actually got the A33. I, I, this, I genuinely do just like though how premiums were like that. Uh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to edit straight away after this. I want to have some game time. Because, um, 
most of my days. No, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Can I can I not kill this thing? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't do anything to this tank because I'm fucking AA. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. You fucking missed. I can't do anything against this tank. This is scary. I cannot do it. That's the one thing that sucks about the. Uh, where the fuck was bombs? Wow. Much wow. Would do again. No, I'm gonna get in this Panzer 4G. I like it. I'm, I'm getting the Panzer 4G purely because I watch Girls and Panzer. Yes, laugh at me if you will. But I watch Girls and Panzer and I was like, well. I can't see, I keep forgetting. But basically, I've watched Girls in Panzer. The Panzer G is the uh, Panzer IV that gets the skirts. So I was like, why not? Oh god, don't quote me as Sanders. The hell? Okay. Oh my god. I do love the new MGs. They look really cool, actually. And the sounds, the sounds for them are nice. Although I could take a shot and just rip his wings off. I mean, no, no, that's a bad thing. That's called team killing. This is a team orientated game. I need to play this in a good fashion. Oh, so I didn't get, um, I didn't get assistance for ripping off the KV-1's tracks. Much sadness. I have a feeling that whatever is there, okay, is down below, just going between C and B because I'm playing on the desert map. So, yeah. Alright, since I since you can't see anything, maybe I should talk about something interesting. Uh, well, what am I doing currently? Currently, I'm mostly playing video games, but there's not been much Wi-Fi, so I haven't been able to stream and whatnot, which sucks. Um, so I've had to resort to editing a video and hoping that it doesn't use too much memory for when I upload it, because when you just upload, you just use a fuck ton of memory. Right, there's something over here. Uh, but it uses a shit ton of memory. Like, I'm not kidding. It It's not fun. When it comes to that. Where the hell is this thing? Where the hell? I have a feeling it's going to come. My backside is going to come. Okay. M8A1. What the hell is with these stupidly weird tanks? Okay. Now it's a hunter? When did this come along? Fucking pay to win scrubs. <laughs> I say that's the person as a T-34. But at least, you know, you can get the T-34747 now. Like, it's not something like it's been around for like a short amount of time. It's been here for a while. Why? Oh, it's my friend. What? I'm very much- Oh, some calling artillery down. Oh, go, 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 don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. <laughs> Attention to the map. I really need to get that AA done again, where you, uh... Always see it, I think. Yeah, I do. Yes, I got it! It's a Greyhound, fucking hell. Oh, the shit! What? Fucking hell, are you kidding me? Oh, it's a KV-1 Zis-5, fuck off. Ugh, whatever, that's really the only thing I can do. Yeah. Oh, by the way, do you want to hear the funny story of why I got the martyr? Funny story is that, um, 
So, I mostly play arcade, I don't do too much realistic, but when I do realistic, I'm okay at it. Uh, anyways, so, the reason I got the Martyr was because I could never pen the front of a fucking KV. You know, despite the fact it has, like, what, a hundred and something millimeters of penetration? It still can penetrate it. Okay, that thing's dead. Um, but I could never pen the front of it. It's like, what the fuck is this? Okay, so, I go along and I get the Martyr. And I just instantly go for the AP rounds because I'm like, fuck it, more armor penetration to me so I can punch those things out of existence. And yeah, it worked actually. Um, and anytime I come across a KV1 now in arcade, I just respawn in like a martyr or something and just overpen it to death. Despite the fact you know a Panzer IV F2 should be able to ram it, run through like there's no tomorrow. Okay, uh, in fact, I'm going to see if I can try and fix this thing quickly. Oh. Ironically as well, I just got FPE, <laughs> fire prevention equipment, for my Panzer 4G, after dying to fire. Nice. Good good job, War Thunder. Okay, okay, I got this on now, and will this show here if I have War Thunder open, or will it only show my background and stuff like that? I question, I question the theory. I have a feeling it's going to be recording my desktop, though. Alright, let's see. I question, I question the theory. Oh, it does, but it's in the fucking corner. Like some limp, limp schnitzel. There we go. Hi, okay. So what this ignore this bot but I have Minecraft purely from for flats. This is Discord. I have it shut down so I can actually have some internet. Uh so yeah. Okay. Uh in fact actually because I can do this, I will go ahead and check uh replays. My last one that I just did. Which was was it this one? I think so. Uh, and by the way, ignore if you hear my voice. That's just me checking over to make sure that the stream's fine and it's not like, you know, fucking up or anything. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the map I was on. Go, go, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay. Right. So yeah, this is this is the armored car. And that was the dickhead you showed me, Tomasano. Anyways. So I decided, hey, why not just rush to A and quickly cap it? I knew, I knew, like, you know, the M18s exist and stuff, so I could have faced one if I wasn't careful. Um, but uh, luckily, no, I want M18s were here. And when I mean could, someone down tiers himself, and I get up tiered to hell. Which I think in this match, I did get up tiered, slightly. Yeah, because the Dicker Max is a 4.7. So, I got up tiered a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to drive in store. This is real time, by the way. This is how fast this thing is. And I'm talking about this is ju literally just a car with an AT rifle. So I decided, hey, you know what? Why don't just, you know... Oh, shit. I slowed it down by accident. I meant to go zoom out. Uh, I don't know how to zoom out. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's dumb. Okay. Okay, free I'm going to free camera. Right, so now I was like, people are on here. Oh no, let's run away. I mean, you heard my commentary, but whatever. I'd like to commentate over this anyways. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to bash that she knew. And I'm going to run away somewhere. I was thinking, why not get to the escape pit here to go try and deal. Oh my god, this thing's so slow. But uh, I was like, yeah, this is where I can't, you can't bash through it with the car, which is stupid. You know, it's made out of wood, so I had to shoot it through. Then suddenly, kaboom. I go out there and then some th something shoots it. I was like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> I'm getting away. And he, he barely misses. He's, he's a good player. But still, he barely misses. So, I'm like, fuck this shit, I'm out. And this that thing isn't slow. That thing isn't slow. The A33 is armored and it's not slow. So, I'm just like, fuck it, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, oh, God. And that's the thing that took a shot at me and burned my engine. Now, I'm like, okay, I'm fine here. I should be okay. Nothing can get me. So, 
here comes another person with the car. And I'm up there like, oh, this is la-di-da-di-da. Uh, I'm going to wait for you to come up here. I see him, so I'm going to go down and engage with him. And like, hiya. And it misses, of course, ricocheting off the front. And I was like, shit, shit, shit. So, I'm like, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, I know. I'm going to go down the edge of the thing so I don't, you know, get targeted because the depression is not low enough to target me. Say 33 is like, okay, this thing's probably gone, so I'm going to go ahead and snipe. Do you know, I mean, holy shit. It's got some sloped armor, even though it's got flat armor. It's pretty good. So, we're gonna watch this here, he's gonna, he's gonna come up there, and this is where the T-118 are coming down. So they're obviously in a squad, the Burbs and TDU. I'm like, shit, shit, <laughs> shit, um, hi, come, come show me, have you? So he's trying to target me right now, and so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a shot at you, and I take out his driver, uh, but I'm like, shit, I'm still gonna be his uh, view, and A-32 is gonna come get me. It's like, fuck this, I'm gonna go and swim across. Nope. It's deeper than I thought it was for some reason, which is odd, and this is where I jumped for the first time. So, yeah, that stunk. Now, I believe I came all the way, was it over this side? Let me just go check. I believe it was this side. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Control F5. Wait. Anyways, this is when I get in the whirlwind, and there's no planes whatsoever. You can check the scoreboard on the right. No planes. I can't move across because then you move the screen. See here? No planes at all. They're still in tanks. Why is this not operational? Anyways. So I'm like, okay. It looks like something might be capping C soon. I don't know for sure. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and trundle away. This is boring. I'm gonna speed this up because I'm bored of my own gameplay. <laughs> oh god, trying to, trying to race up. So I think this is when I, no, no, I called it on the B point. Did I? Probably. But uh, so I'm like, I'm hearing planes. No, it's our own ones. Oh no. Oh, okay. I didn't see that one. But uh. Yeah, so I'm going ahead and I'm going to look around, just making sure there's nothing coming along. So, I think this is where, yeah, I'm trundling across the sea. I'm like, okay, I'm going to prevent this thing from being captured. And I didn't realize the artillery was still going on. So when I was there, I think I almost got blown up by artillery. Which is, you know, it's fun. And there's the Soki that's about to fall over. So he's following me. I'm like, yeah, 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 everything's cool. Everything's fine. And so I'm like, I'm not going to go spawn camp or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next point. Now, this is the part where Suki's like, I'm going to copy that cool warble wind and fall flat on his face. Because, you know, he's a dumb dumb. And I'm like, wait, something's not right. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Ah. Uh, now, here's the problem. Don't try and copy other times. Just because that one tank can do it doesn't mean you can do it. So, uh, there's my string. I attach my noodle to him and then flip him over. And he's like, thanks. <clears throat> and gets on his way. And I, meanwhile, go across to B point because I want to go capture it. And it's ironic that the whirlwind got bombed by a fucking plane, but whatever. Anyway, so I trundle I'm trundling along to the point. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know how to lift this up, so I'm having to look down and go backwards in order to go up. So here I go, I, see, I, I ignore this KV-1. I'm like, oh shit, wait. <laughs> Take out his tracks. And there's really nothing I can do. I think I was out of his um, gun, because his gun couldn't elevate that much. So I can't do anything. And then this is when, yep, I got bombed by that play, which is nice. And then that Firefly also blew himself up in taking me out. So this here, me and my final tank, I'm like, well, shit, let's just go. Let's go Sonic style. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. You know, inside, it's just going. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... That I was unexpected, but... <clears throat> yeah. Now, here's the thing as well. Don't forget, you can see... You can literally see, like, enemy and friendlies. In realistic, you can't see that. 
In in arcade you can. In basic you can. So that R2 was very close to hitting me and I was like shit, okay gotta get out of here. And there's the M8 that I took a shot of. I thought I didn't Yeah, M8 Greyhound. And took a shot and only took out his crew members because his arms were thin. This is when I die because I have no FPE and I get taken out by the KV1. Boom. Dead. Which is sad, and we've lost, and we won the match probably. But yeah, so that's fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this this thing here is a piece of shit. It really is. A, it's more like a joke machine than it is actual usefulness. Um, but I mean, I'm not complaining. Too much. It is a new vehicle in the German tech tree, which isn't the fucking Leopard 2A4, which I will never be able to get because it will take me fucking forever. Um, I'm surprised the 10.5 wasn't taken away, nor was the Panther 2. Seems like they kept it in. I thought they would take it away this patch. So I was like, ah, whatever. Um, so yeah, if they are going to take it away, though, I would say maybe up the penetration of the Tigers by a little bit. Like, enough to make a difference and compensate for the 10.5 being gone. Uh, oh, my one gripe as well with this update. No one's talked about this yet, but you have a new tank called the XM1 GM medium tank at 9.0. So now, at 9.0, you can buy your way up to getting um, a, 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 a nowadays battle tank with heat, cheat FS, with Hesh. With uh, a APF SDS, and they have APDS. So yeah, it even comes with a rangefinder, um, and three MGs. It's it, it it. I haven't tested this with the other shells, but considering you've got heat FS. And it costs a thousand to replenish, which is nice. They've lowered the cost by two hundred, so that's good. Um, you know, <laughs> shit. Um, so basically, now you can buy your way to getting yourself the M1 Abrams, which is glorious. Um, even though you know I'm all the way down here with the uh, with the American stuff, because I, I I I'm not fun of American stuff. I'm not. Apart from the EZ8, which I like, and the M56, I do enjoy. I'm hoping to get that, but I'd need to buy a couple more vehicles from here. Uh, oh, also, British get finally get an AVRA, but it's not the one I want. And I say I because, you know, it's me. Probably no one else cares, but they brought along this thing. I'm going to test drive this. This is going to be standard. It gets with the L33A1 Hess shell. 203 millimeters of penetration, more millimeter penetration depending on the angle. Now, it's a 7.0 tank that comes in with a cost of 50 pounds. 50 euros, 50 whatever. It's expensive as hell. It gets 53 lots of ammunition. It's got a bulldozer on the front so it can act as space armor. Some people have noticed that before. And, uh, well, this is a IT1, right? Let's see how well this works. If you shoot in the front, not going to do too much. This shell, 100%, works best only on the top of turrets. Now you're thinking, well, why, why, why is that a thing? Well, if you if you consider, look at how much millimeters of armor penetration the shell has. You know, it gets more as the, um, whatever you shoot at is more slope. For example, see, it says yellow here. I'm pretty sure if I shoot this right now, once it reloads, hit. Never mind, I fucking missed. But if it was actually hit, if it hits the top of a turret, let's go see actually if we can get another tank across. <laughs> T64B sitting out there. Could hit it, but no. Uh, I'm gonna let the, yeah, thank burn. But yeah, this thing carries. This thing has flat armor on the sides. It's got sloped armor on the front, which is fair enough. It's got. It looks like it's got okay protection. It's got space to armor and whatnot. Um, but here's the th yeah. Here's the thing. It has ammo storage. Uh, it's going to stop this tank here for a second. Okay, press O and C. 
break my fingers as they do splits. No, not really. But you can see there, just beside, I, would, I think that's the gunner. Yeah, that's a looter. Oh, no, that's a looter, I think, then. But right beside the looter, you can see there, six shells sticking up. They're like six giant dildos. Um, yeah, you only basically get seven shots before you're going to have to do this thing. So, good luck trying to get more than a couple kills in a match. Unless, like, your team's bothered to cover you, or you just do your sniping thing. Which is going to be impossible to do, considering, you know, what's that? 500 meters, and I'm already I'm having to point my barrel up in the air. With the other one. What is that? What was that? The T10M? Look at that. Look how high I'm having to point my barrel up in the air in order to hit it. Anyways. So, to explain my point on hitting the top of the turret it works. The enemy has been destroyed. <laughs> oh, British Vice, I mean, what? Ignore my texting, I'm texting people. But, yeah. Uh, so, is this tank worth the money? Fuck yeah, it's worth it's worth every single goddamn penny but in this tank. But still, it's expensive. Don't bother getting this thing unless you're bothered to actually get some kills. This thing is a one shot wonder, but at the same time it could be a one shot blunder. Due to the fact if you hit it if you hit something in the hole, you're most likely not gonna kill it unless it's from the side. If you hit something in the hole from the front, you're gonna kill like the driver, maybe the gunner, maybe a loader, but not everyone usually. And considering Russian tanks also only have four crew members most of the time or less. Um, you know. It acts like that. One thing I also want to show people, I don't think people have actually thought about this, but I personally regret buying this tank and I should have looked at reviews of this tank before but I have it now so whatever this thing is not even worth money it, it should be a researchable vehicle it's not worth money and you can't you shouldn't be allowed to buy this with uh, golden eagles like as in like you shouldn't if it was a researchable vehicle you wouldn't be allowed to buy this thing with uh, golden eagles you can't boost research for it now, why do I say this? This thing has a good gun. It's a good gun, but it has the ammo replenishment storage of doom. So, what this essentially means is you got 12 shots. No, 12? Or is, I believe it's 6 actually. Let me check. AP rounds, right? AP rounds, no explosive fillers. AP. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and waste as much ammunition as possible. Oh shit, I just... Oh, well, I actually hit it, I'm surprised. Oh, so... This has actually been updated... What? 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 Oh, okay. That's nice. So... Anyways, before, in the update, you only had six rounds in your turret. Six. So, by now, I wouldn't be able to fire a shot until I reloaded everything. Okay, so it, this thing used to have six rounds before. It still loads individually, but I'm happy they put up to 12 because you would not be able to get a kill. What is my gripe about this tank? After loading each shell, you can see here it sits behind the gunner, behind the commander, behind the loader. Now, not really the loader matters considering it's got an auto loader, but still. You're sitting ammunition literally behind your end, uh, in front of your engine, and behind your turret. And where do people want to shoot? Oh right, your turret. And what sucks about this as well? The rockets are basically ammo compartments. So if you're smart enough and don't have half a brain, just shoot the rockets with your heavy caliber machine guns, and it's gonna, it's gonna be the Fourth of July all over again. Even though I'm not American, but whatever. 
Now, on to my real gripe with this tank. I'm not really gripe about the gun, to be honest. The gun, I'm happy with. <laughs> I, I don't mind. But, what is my one gripe with this tank? Right, the rockets. Now, you think, yeah, you know, oh, rockets are just a selling point, you know. People just want, uh, just want the rockets to the rockets. Yeah, I wanted rockets. I wanted actual rockets that were filled with explosive that would blow things sky high, ignore steam. Um... In fact, give me a second. Alright, okay, I'm back, sorry. I had to put my steam in offline mode so that person would annoy me. Um, but yeah. So, watch this. See, if I want to say, I hit this thing on the turret. This is a mouse. Oh! It's, it's, it's a rocket. Oh my god, I'm getting notifications everywhere. Holy shit. Um, ignore my, ignore my swearing, sorry. But, there's something wrong with these rockets, isn't there? Because, you think, a rock, rockets, you know, especially, even if they're guided, they still have some sort of explosive pack or punch. Right? Not the case. Watch how that thing, you can see all the fragmentation of one. I understand it's a mouse well, so it's probably also because, you know, it's space crew. But watch closely. Oh, well, of course. But watch closely how it hits the target and just runs it through. Yes, it runs it through. It's, this is the first time I'm ever going to say this, but this is... This is a armor piercing rocket. Oh shit, I need to be higher. Okay, I'll just get close then. But, uh. Now, you might be saying, but, <laughs> what are you talking about, Call Mod Sustucinda? Rockets aren't arm piercing. Well, apparently, with this French one, they are. Unless they fix it in this last patch. They're armor piercing rockets now understandably the rockets have a lot of penetration and whatnot but the amount of spalling created by the size of these rockets if they penetrate would be humongous i i don't know what to say to be honest I'm just waiting for this. Oh my, fuck it, I'm gonna restart. I don't care. Restart the mission. I've been waiting too long. Oh my god, people are not gonna be bothered. But, uh, see if. I'm gonna hit this mouse, right? Uh, I mean, this, the thing is, I don't wanna blow it up by setting it on fire and it gets blown up later on. I want it to be actually blown up. Look at that. This is a rocket we're talking about. And. Genuinely, it should be. Shit, now I was too long with it. Oh my god, can I penetrate this goddamn thing? You know, despite the fact it should, but whatever. God fucking damn it. But this is what I mean. It's rockets, but they should be explosive rockets, not armor piercing rockets. I mean, for the size of these kind of rockets, you'd still expect them to. Maybe they'd be like the Katusha kind of rockets where, you know, they don't do much damage, but when they penetrate, they just fucking destroy. There you go. Now look, look at its path. You see in the top right corner? It's an AP rocket, which is nuts. This is why the rocket is shit. Not because, you know, uh, it, it's guided and you have to guide it with arrows. I don't mind guiding rockets with arrows and stuff. I could do this in realistic to a moving target and I could still hit it okay-ish. But if you're having rockets that work like armor-piercing shells, I understand they can go through anything. But if they work like armor-piercing shells instead of like rockets, what's the point? Don't get this tank. You'll be so disappointed. With the performance of this thing, it's it's just just shameful. Look, it's still not hitting anything. It's meant to be an explosive fucking rocket. Admittedly, you could use it on the move in arcade, but still, 
there's, there's not much point. Also, despite, you know, this tank having very, very good gun depression, like, look at that, that's beautiful. Despite this tank having good gun depression, so you can go over hills, quote unquote, you can't do that until you fired all your rockets. Why? Because if you poke your rockets out and your turret, guess what's going to happen? Oh, right, you're going to get sniped because your turret is the deep full of ammunition. Both outside and inside. That's disappointing. I've done that twice with a bloody panther now. Oh my god. Now I'm going to go over here to Zack Tiger and, and just show... Uh, hopefully show. I don't know if I'll be able to show, but I'll hopefully be able to like demonstrate how these rockets literally shit. <laughs> but I'll be. I'll hopefully be able to demonstrate how these rockets are just AP. Yeah, this 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 tank. This like the tank itself. Good. The rockets. No. 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 That's basically what when you see this tank with its rockets, it's just no. Angle yourself slightly, don't let your critical parts be hit, and you're good to go against this tank, really. Let's see, can I, can I pen anywhere in the front of this Yaktiga? Apart from through the bloody gun. Okay. <clears throat> I was just thinking maybe I'd be able to... I might, I might be able to hit that top bit there. But, uh, let's see. I, did I have green on this, really? Oh my god. <laughs> I, kill, I killed the cannon breed! Because that makes sense. Well, it probably does. Okay. Still nothing? Nope. Okay. If you, um, actually, I will show what I mean by arm piercing rockets afterwards. Problem is, I have Sony, I, I have like Brumbar, Chromo RP3, Strum Panzer 2. I don't have the KB2 though. I mean, I could get it, but. Nah, I don't like the Russian tree. The only thing I like in the Russian tree is literally the ASU, and that's because it's a joke. As in, it's a literal joke everyone is happy to laugh at. Not, it's a joke, it's shit, go die in a hole. Where's that? Here. On target. Next target. Okay, let's see, um... Oh, would you look at that? What a surprise. And look at that. Even though it's a rocket that penetrates the front of its armor. Sorry, ignore my bad aiming is difficult. But, you know, despite the fact it's a rocket, it don't do shit. It don't do shit, Nibba. It really don't. Like, it's, it's disappointing. Your gun's better taking out the fucking... Yagtivas and stuff like that than your bloody rockets are, despite the fact the rockets should be really, really, really awesome. They're not. And if you want proof that it's got lots of penetration, 600 millimeters, 519, 299, it st should be able to shred anything in its tier. Now I can understand the explosive mass is 3.47 kilograms, but let's just go and look at the British Cromwell Mark V. RP3. This thing, how much kilograms? How much, um, doesn't even give, it doesn't even give a bloody, it doesn't give an explosive mass. And yet, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to take out most tanks in one shot if it penetrates. And here's the trick question, it's penetrates. But 75 millimeters at its tier, you know, will be able to penetrate. Say for example, this thing. 
I also suggest if you do play something like the Cromwell, you know, you can't guide it, it goes overshoots all the time, blah blah blah. If you do complain so much about it and you want to use the Cromwell with rockets purely for the rockets, I suggest taking out the transmission so you can do something like that. It, it's it's really simple to do. It's really simple. All you need to do is stop a little bit before you hit you come to your target and you'll hit them. Seriously, it's not difficult. I don't understand what's so hard about doing this. Okay, maybe I missed that one. Maybe this was a... Ah, whatever. But yeah, if you see what I mean. You... Um... Actually, let me restart. I, I can kill a panther with this. I'm pretty sure I can also kill King Tiger with this. With... with when I mean with this, I mean with the rockets. But I'm not going to get tempted. I'm not going to get tempted by killing those things. Ah, oh, shit. Also, I'm surprised more people don't use the Cromwells. The Cromwells literally... What? Brilliant? I would say it's better than the Comet. I would say, in my opinion, you know, even if it has less armor and less penetration, yada yada yada, the thing is, this thing is not meant for frontline tanks. It's not meant... It, it's speed. It's speedier than the Comet. Because it has a much faster acceleration time than the Cromet does. Uh, the... the yeah, the... Uh, the... the... Blah, 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 blah. The, what's it called? Got faster. Shit. Oh, fuck it. Let's just go shove her face in this thing. There you go. There's proof that you can one shot a panther from the side with the rocket. But, uh. Shit. I, did, I meant to read out. Fuck. But, um. Yeah, like. Oh, yeah. So, with the Comet. Uh, Comet. I understand, you know, you're you're good, you have a better gun, you can engage things better. Well, why do you need to do that when... This is Tiger 2H, so this literally sits 3 BRs higher than this tank. Yeah, this tank can do this to it. Wait, shit, no. Okay, say you, you're a normal person, you target the gun first. Oh, look, armor's weak, you can pen it. Oh look, armor is weak, you can pen it. As long as you get around the King Tigers, you're good. And here's the thing. This thing has fast acceleration and can hit um I can hit around 50, 60 kilometers per hour easy. And this thing has rockets. So, you know, you're all good. I pr yeah, I'm pretty sure I can kill this Yak Tiger if I tried. Say, you know, you get on its side, you look for its weak spot. Oh, no, because that's going to take off the armor. Uh, say I want to get rid of the gunners first. Yes. I got rid of the horizontal. It has one. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I need to stop being surprised. I mean, it's the Germans that, you know, they need to put every single last penny into these tanks. Anyways. Well, I did anyways. I took it out with bloody nothing. Now, what's the one time you're going to fail in this tank with rockets? I'll tell ya. I'll tell ya. Oh, wait, did I not take out that Ponce of 4C? I thought I did. Boom's going to die. Um, so, with the one weakness about this tank's rockets is that you can't aim them after you fired them. That's why the quote-unquote AMX rockets are better, even though they're really not, because... If I were to hit anything with those rockets, they'll probably overpen. And that's probably the reason why you won't kill most of the time. You will just overpen your target. Whereas with the Cromwell with basically Wyvern rockets on it, Tulip rockets on it, you can just waddle up to any enemy and just say, Hi, fuck you, and blow them up. I mean, I've killed bloody KV-1s with these rockets. Okay? I am not scared of a KV-1 because of the rockets. I mean, you can pen a KV-1 from the front if you're lucky, but most of the time you're not going to be lucky. Because he gave one's a pile of shit, it really... Ugh. Oh shit, I thought I would be so fast to kill it. Move, 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 you s silly banana. Move, I say move. Look, the whole British army's coming after you. Oh, it did. But seriously, something like this... 
you got you can get something like this for a much much cheaper price i need to get the amx you know which can't do jack shit um yeah and by the way those guided rockets i'll tell you one big weakness about them you can't use them in binoc mode so you literally do not have the ability to fire over a hill you do not have that ability i'm talking about realistic in arcade you know of course you know you're going to be able to shit but you're going to be able to aim them with your mouse and stuff. You can still go over hills, quote unquote. In in realistic, however, you can't. Yeah. So it's kind of disappointing that the French got that tank in the first place. I do believe that you know the French should get a. <laughs> People who've ever bought that tank need compensation for buying that bloody tank. It's so garbage. What? I'm so confused. Where's this green? No. There. I can't believe I actually did something there. Anyways. So yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. You got the Chromo RP3 with four rockets. Unguided. But do shit tons more damage than a fucking. This thing says at 3.3. The French thing says at 6.7. I mean, sure, it's nice to get through the first um, French stuff, but when we once you get to basically the M10, uh, the M4, SA50, you know, stuff like that, what's the point? It's ba that's basically a Sherman Firefly. But I mean, you get tanks like these, and just like, what's the point of getting this piece of shit? And, ugh, I really do complain a lot. Also, when's when's the uh, when's when's the uh, when's the Italians getting some tr uh, tanks that are actually decent? The Leo Leon Cello is shit. I don't care how many people say, oh, it's good for assault. It's shit. It doesn't do well at long range at all. The Japanese, have they got any tanks? Which I can talk about, which I know of? Nope, because it's endgame tanks. That's also another crap I have, actually. Everything being added is endgame. Unless it's useless and they add it in early game. Kind of surprised that they didn't add in another Russian tank, because, you know, they have bajillions of them. But, you know. They added something for the German tech trees, so I guess I should be happy. And yet it should. I mean, it, I should be happy. I don't even know what these are. They don't look great, though. No, they wouldn't be great. Because... You got two cannons, four MGs, one turret. And yet, you literally have this son of a bitch here. Both of these. I don't bother to speed this one up. This one's better. But, you speed these out. And you're pretty much set to go. Oh shoot! Um, I mean, why bother getting this when you literally have the Henschel <coughs> sitting at the same tier, but can do this guy's job better? I do not understand. Yeah, it, it literally does the best. I'm pretty sure this thing has more penetration with its AP shells. Yeah. 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 And its default shells already do almost as much as this one, as these shells do after research. Let that sink in for a second. After research. And that thing sits, this thing sits at 3.3 .3 and that thing sits at 3.7. Holy shit, it's annoying. But uh, if you're wondering what play I'm going for, you can see I'm boosting down this line as much as possible. And I'm going for this. This thing's a joke. Um, yeah, anyways. So, I think I'm going to just conclude my stream there. I've done a live gameplay with the thing. I showed you the one stupid thing I did with the... <coughs> basically, armored car with no gun. And I've shown you why to not get this French tank. It's a piece of shit. Don't even bother upgrading the crew. Just get its basic qualifications.
get the good tanks and walk away. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my stream and rant thing. Well, more of a... Let's talk uh, the things first before doing anything. Yes, I do have the Katusha. I'm sad I don't have the M8 uh, though. But yeah. I hope you... Oh yeah, Ponza Forge. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, please consider watching more of my stuff. I mean, I don't do stuff often, but... You know, if you watch more of my stuff, it'd be nice. It'd be if you could. Um, and also, I just hope that I do produce okay content. Um, if you do have any gripe about a video or whatnot, or like, oh, this thing hasn't been done correctly, you know, point it out to me in the comment section and stuff. Uh, I do want to know if I mess things up or if my sense of humor is really going off off the roof. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you all maybe in a